I had my brother as well, so uh, I, I couldn't have done that thing on my own. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, Chris Edwin from uh, Manila, Uh About the uh, finale song you sang in American Idol, yeah, the victory song, the one written by uh, Para Jogardi. Uh -huh. Did I get it right? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, she got a lot of flack for that song. Right. And she admitted as much that it was originally written for a female voice. Uh, how did you personally feel about singing that song? You still include it in your uh, set list? It's funny that you bring that up because I was actually at a party the other night and Kara was there. She was actually sitting right next to me. And, uh, and we talked about that song. And so, uh, yeah, I, it's definitely one of those songs that was, me, me and Adam, it was a little bit harder for us to sing as guys, I felt like. And it, I, cause I had the demo of Kara actually singing it. It was, I thought it was really good. So I think the song just fit maybe a girl's voice a little bit better. Um, but a girl did not win. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's no longer in your set list. I don't think it's in this set list, no. We did not put it in, if that's okay. All right, next question. Go ahead. Hi, Grant, I'm Jeff from Spot.net. I just, I'm just very curious, I just want to ask you, what's currently on your playlist? What songs are you currently listening to? Oh, jeez. Um, a lot of different things. I feel like, um, I listen to, uh, MGMT a lot, she's good. good. Um, I listen to the new Switchfoot record the other day, she's good. I don't know, I listen to everything, though. So. Anything that people might be surprised about? I mean, I mean, there's a. I'm sure you're listening to music that uh, kind of resembles the style that you like. But is there something out right. there like, whoa, I can't believe that this would actually have that in his uh, iPod or whatever? The, the, um, I would say like on my iPod, people would probably be like, uh, Sierra, why do you have Sierra? All right, they're pretty weird, but they're label based. You know? <laughs> <laughs> It's preset inside them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, next question. Let's take this uh, gentleman here. I see Brian Savior from Shop Magazine. Um, if Kara was the fourth judge on your team judge, if it's not her, who would want to be the other judge? And why? If what? If Kara is Car the fourth judge on your team right? Yeah. Who you, would you want to replace her if she's not the fourth judge? If she was not there last year, who yeah. would I have wanted? I, to be honest, I probably would have wanted Ellen. I thought she, uh, I think she's awesome. And I, I've done her show a couple of times and she's just a really sweet person. And I think she's going to be awesome on the show. Yeah. So. Do, you, do, you, do you have any uh, idol insights? Like, I mean, because you know, I mean, you know, you're part of that family now. Do they get in touch with you about, um, I don't know, tips or not just any suggestions for the show, anything like that? Or is it once you're done, you're done? You're pretty much done. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> they kick you off. They're like, okay, another season. All right. So, okay. They're just looking for other people to talk to now. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can last last yeah. two questions? Last two? Yeah. Hi, Greg. Hey, man. Um, okay, this is not a question, but I, I guess everybody here would like to join me in asking you to sing a few lines to your number one. <laughs> oh, Nelson. You do that all the time, buddy. You know, he's a glorious to this, uh, Chris. Who is this guy? He's a uh, cutthroat reporter on television. <laughs> from from Live Like or Die, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Maybe a, yeah. a couple lines from Nash. Yeah. I don't mind doing that.